the hell? Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I got another review from Christmas Tree Shops. And they, and they get to have these new uh, things. Now, Christmas Tree Shops and that, I guess. And this is a great place to shop, especially for snacks and stuff. And all the different types of other items. You know, you, I got a nice pair of slippers there for 10 bucks. So, you know, I love slippers. Well, anyways, I got something that... Uh, I think Joe Muller from JKM Crave TV will be interested in the Coney Island Classics Jalapeno Poppers Kettle Corn with Himalayan Sea Salt. Well, Himalayan Pink Salt, not Sea Salt. So you're saying Sea Salt. Got cool design on here, and you got some of the things of the, uh, the Cyclone, the famous roller coaster from uh, Days Gone By on Coney, uh, Coney Island. It says small batch, but this is a pretty large uh, bag. Eight ounces. Says Brooklyn uh, Artisans All Natural Whole Grain, and this was uh, two ninety nine from Chris Tree Shop, and this is from uh, Ziggy's. Was well, manufactured by Ziggy Snack Food, uh, distributed by Lifestyle Gourmet in Valley Stream, New York. Cool, and it's got some more stuff on the back. I'll read after there after I try this out. And it says and it's Coney Island Classics Jalapeno Poppers. Kettle corn with Himalayan pink salt. A big mouthful. Right. Well, let's open these up. Let's try them out. I like the red foil design on these. Wow, oh, these smell. Oh, they smell kind of weird. They smell like uh, sunflower seeds. Wow. Hopefully they taste okay. I don't know. You never know what you're going to get with some of these things. So here's a couple right here. Let's try them out. You get a heat from them, but I like the heat, but these taste weird. <clears throat> got good heat. I'm trying to see if I can find, see the jalapeno. They have like a nutty sunflower seed taste to it. I don't understand. I'm really strange. At least they have the heat and spice to it. At least that's something. It's like uh, other kettle corn from Ziggy's. It's like a, like spicy Cracker Jacks, but this is like a spice. Tastes like spicy sunflower, spicy seeds, sunflower seeds, and that's not how popcorn supposed to taste. I don't taste any jalapeno. Popper flavor whatsoever. And just um, the weirdness of the smell and the weirdness of the taste is really throws me off. Like so at least it has uh, the heat to it. I'm not really digging these at all. Figures I give you a shout out, Joe, and there's a product I don't care for. I'd probably give this a 5 out of 10. Very strange. Coney Island Classics. Yeah, but just the 5 is just because of the burn. Uh, at least it has like a burn to it. If it wasn't for that, I'd probably get a 4 out of 10. Coney Island Classics Jalapeno Poppers. Don't take the Jalapeno Poppers. It's sure no classic kettle corn with Himalayan pink salt. Now, I promise, let me read what it says on the back. It says, we're from Brooklyn. To us, the true magic of Brooklyn is Coney Island, land of thrilling rides and delicious snacking. It probably was, but this is just a bad representation of Coney Island. Our kettle corn is made the old-fashioned, traditional old-fashioned boardwalk way by hand in small copper kettles. So if seasoning is perfect, we'd add a few modern twists. It don't taste like kettle corn either. Uh, we use only non-GMO corn. Who thought messing with corn genetics was a good idea? 100% natural. We don't think mankind has improved on what nature produces. They didn't do too good on this flavor. I know that. Our kettle corn is gourmet, crafted by chefs. Not really. They could have done a better job. Not machines in small batches. Greek flavor comes from Himalayan pink salt, the pure salt on earth. 
But it's nothing the minerals and other good stuff for your body. It's true, but I mean, this healthy snack is gluten-free, vegan, and contains no cholesterol preservatives. So many people are excited about this. Once they taste it, they won't be. Our pro all production and packing is done in an free facility. You're welcome. Please uh, enjoy our delicious, genuine uh, Coney Island Classic Kettle Corn. And remember, uh, food like love is best when shared. Well, now all that's well and good. It just don't... It smells... Smells weird and tastes even weird. It's just strange. I mean, it has the spice, it has the burn to it, which is good, but. Other than that, I'm going to change my rating. I'm going to give it a four. Hell with that. I'm going to give it, yeah, I'll give it a four. I'm just too strange tasting. Not enjoyable whatsoever. So, I'm giving this Chain My Ray and giving it a 4 out of 10 for a Coney Island Classic Jalapeno Poppers Kettle Corn made with Himalayan pink salt. It doesn't taste anything like jal uh, jalapeno poppers whatsoever. You get a burn, some of a burn, some spice to it, but I mean, that's the only plus. Uh, it's nice what they said in the back. It's cool, it's vegan and all that stuff, but it just don't taste very good. It don't smell very good either. So, it was a, a very disappointing review for me. Sorry, Joe. But, I mean, I'm still giving a shout out to Joe Muller, JKM Crave for Coney Island, Class Coney Island Classics, Halloween of Poppers, <laughs> Kettle Corn with Himalayan Pink Salt. Oh, man, I, it smells so weird. I, I probably, if I could, I'd rip out some farts. It'd probably smell better, but oh, well. Very disappointing. Uh, but, I mean, you get you get those disappointing. As food review, you get weird stuff like that, too. I mean, I thought there other stuff, the buffalo wing in there, Jalapeno were kind of weird, but I mean, they were more better than this. So, oh, well. Until next time, buddy. And jalapeno flavor is not tough to duplicate. You know? But I've seen a lot of the chips that do taste like jalapeno. This doesn't taste like jalapeno at all. It just tastes weird. It tastes like nuts. It's not supposed, it's supposed to taste like corn, not nuts. So, until next time, buddy, please. Take care of my legion. I think I rambled on long enough. Now this is like I should get like combat paid for some of these food reviews. I see y'all later, but and take care everybody.